Lauren, can I get a 3, 2, 1 takeoff? Aye, aye, sir. 3, 2, 1. Takeoff. <laughs> Yo, what is going on everyone? My name is Drew, what it do? Hopefully you are having a fantastic day today. And today is the second vlog on the channel, man. I'm super excited to show you guys the footage over the last eight days. Uh, the first couple of clips, or it's kind of weird. I don't know how I want to really start this, uh, but uh, we got some Edward Joyner stuff. If you don't know, I started my own business called Edward Joyner. So I'm gonna show you guys the behind the scenes of running a little, small little fashion business. I got a podcast that I run. Um, I got life that I deal with man, and it hopefully should just be an entertaining video for you guys So sit back relax grab some popcorn man, you know Just listen in tune in have it playing in the background do whatever you do whenever you watch a YouTube video um, Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I got a review of some Notre Dunks Which I'm super excited for in the video. So stay tuned for that I don't know when I'm gonna put that in but we're gonna figure it out and uh, spread the peace love and positivity to you all right, let's get into it. Lauren, you just hit two in a row. So Lauren was just telling me about meff and how in French like there's a slang like like the pig Latin of French is there's like a French pig Latin slang right um, and you'll hear it a lot in some rap music French rap music yeah and it's called Verlon 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 which is a reversed way to say reversed which is allons vers oh, okay so Verlon yeah. Verlon Cool. Long story. I just actually had an order, got an order from Ray Mia. My dude Ray uh, blessed me with a, a few items that he ordered from my recent drop, which were candles and mugs. So I'm going to pack that and then send that off. I also have to plan and prepare for uh, our drop in March, which we're having for the brand, which is going to be a new graphic, which I designed myself and I'm super excited about it. I'm wearing one of our graphic shirts right now. This is just like a winner's peak. It's for it was before the winter time, but uh, yeah, man, I'm just gonna show you guys, you know, life processes, art processes, business processes, brand processes, and uh, I just said processes a lot. But uh, hopefully, y'all enjoy the vid, man. This is just Monday, and I'm just gonna just be talking to y'all, man. <laughs> Today is Friday guys, we're about to drop off some of our clothing, some of the items that uh, I designed to our decorator, to our screen printer, um, so I'm going to show you guys that. Um, then I have like freaking 100,000 calls today guys, uh, some with Ray and Alex for small hours, some for Edward Joyner, so today's going to be another pretty busy day man. So Lauren and I are DTD, downtown Denver. And uh, just dropping off the shirts right now. Uh, I wanna show you guys a little bit of like what it looks like when we drop off our garments, when we get screen printing done, things like that. Uh, it is so, so cold outside right now, like so cold. And uh, Lauren's bundled up. I am also bundled up, but I have you know some jeans on. But we're gonna try to show you guys a little bit of the inside. It should be a quick clip, but yeah. Yeah. I'm 
so, so excited to show you guys these, man. I've been waiting all week. These are the Notra times Nike Dunk Highs in the Light Orwood colorway. It's time for my review. Let's get into it. So I actually ordered these uh, about, about a week ago. <laughs> Anybody remember that? But about a week ago, and I was super geeked on them, super excited to get them, and hopefully I was hoping to get them before the weekend, but they came Tuesday. Uh, there was President's Day yesterday, which is a U.S. holiday, and so shipping was a little bit wonky, but I'm so happy I finally got them in hand. Um, upon opening the box, uh, you actually have uh, Notra tape on the box, and when you open it, you're greeted by this traditional uh, Dunk box, the traditional Dunk Nike box. Um, and for me, this is actually my first Dunk, so I'm super, super excited to have a, a collaborated Dunk. Um, I was doing a ton of research on Dunks, which I won't talk about now, um, but I'm really interested in this silhouette and really interested in this shoe. But like I said, upon opening the box, you're greeted by the, the classic box. And then when you open up the box, there's a, a light, you know, a brown, uh, not a light, but there's brown uh, tissue paper in the box. And then when you unravel that, you're presented by the sneaker in and of itself. I'm um, a very simplistic unboxing experience, if I do say so myself. Um, and the sneaker, it does have this uh, kind of glow to it when you first open the box. Now that we've gotten the unboxing out of the way, let's get into the kind of details of the sneaker. Um, one of my favorite things about this sneaker is just how many details there are. Um, we can start with the, um, the lateral side of the sneaker is actually constructed with this kind of nice leather that is, um, isn't present on the medial side. And the reason why that was done is because the guys at Notra explained essentially that, you know, this shoe is inspired by the, the working man. It's inspired by workwear. It's inspired by um, putting in and, and kind of putting in a lot of hours wearing the shoe and kind of getting it uh, distressed, destroyed and frayed in different manners and such. And so they made the outside leather. They made the inside um, uh, a canvas material, which is a little bit more durable. As you move along the shoe, you kind of see that uh, the the nappiness of the suede of the shoe. The shoe is a very the the shoe has a very nappy suede to it, which obviously is, is very buttery to the touch. Feels really good. Um, the left shoe in particular has the actual workman's tag, and it's inspired by like a work shirt that you would get um, if you're working, for example, like for example as a mechanic or if you're um, just doing some kind of some type of manual labor a lot of times these work shirts are issued and you have the Notra kind of uh, Work tag. I hope, hopefully I can get get you guys to see this Let me get my lighting right There we go, but right here you have that tag and the color of this shoe is absolutely beautiful guys uh, They call the shoe light or wood like I said before But I would really call it just like this creamy peppermint because the laces the dead stock laces are these like peppermint laces that are um, Really poppy and they, they bring a lot of character to the shoe um, And then the additional laces that you get with the shoe are a kind of uh, a rope style lace That's more creamy and then you get a brown flat lock lace which are oh so beautiful. You have a heel tab in the back, which is probably gonna help you put the shoe on or if you wanna kinda hang it with your finger like I'm doing right now, you can do that. Um, but what really shines about this shoe is the details. You have the Notra handshake, which is present on all Notra collabs um, that you can see right there. You also have uh, triple stitching on the medial side of the shoe um, in certain areas where the um, forefoot of the shoe is. I'm pretty sure it's not everywhere. There's double stitching and there's triple stitching, but the triple stitching is, you know, on this area of the shoe. Hopefully you guys can see that it's not too, it's not too bright. Um, but you have that there and then you have a cream midsole that is also creamy, creamy, dreamy. I, I love the cream and I love the light browns in, in a shoe and I think it's a very versatile shoe. You have that traditional dunk outsole. I'm really geeked about these shoes because what the guys did at Notra, what they you know strive to do, which was creating kind of a, a a shoe inspired by workwear, a shoe inspired by the the working class in the Midwest. I love the storytelling, and I'm gonna get more into that in um, kind of the second half of the review. I'm also gonna do it on foot and things like that. But before before I do any of those kind of things, I actually have. Uh, Lauren down here with me in the in the studio trying to trying to get this review done. Lauren, 
Come here, l let me see your reaction to these shoes because she's never seen me with a dunk high and so I want to know what she thinks about them. All right, Lauren, what do you think? These are the these are them right here. She's, she's over there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like them. They look like uh, candy canes. Candy cane, yeah, because yeah, of the, candy cause candy of the laces. Vibe. What is this area here? Uh, Notra. Notra. Which is the name of the shop. Okay. Notra is the name of the shop in Chicago. Oh, okay, cool. It's yeah. a French word, right? Uh, it might be. No, notre is ours in French. Really? Like, like ours. I don't, I would have to ask them why they decided yeah. Notre because um, there's Notre Dame too. True. Yeah. But Notre Dame means Our Lady. Right. Yeah. Right. So it might mean our shop. Like, Maybe. Because it's just the Notre shop. Yeah. That's a nice like um, suede though. I like that material. Yeah. The suede, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The suede is right here. And the, I like the colors, the cream. Yeah. All right, so you guys heard Lauren's verdict. Um, she likes them, and and uh, I like them too, man. I think there's a. I think when you get them in hand, there's a, a lot of details that you see that you might not see, you know, just by looking at pictures online. And that's usually the case when it comes to sneakers. So um, I'm definitely excited about these, and I'm definitely excited about um, rocking these, man. So let's let's move on to the on foot portion of the review, and then. Um, yeah, then we'll kind of I'll kind of give you guys a little bit more about Notra. A lot I did I did a lot of research in regards to Notra, so I want to talk to you guys a little bit about that, and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, the Dunk High silhouette. And I think Nike has done a great job in the series that they've done in kind of explaining the cultural relevance of it. So after these, after trying these on a little bit, I would go true to size. Um, they fit pretty nicely. Uh, I would say that there's maybe a little bit of room. So um, I'm a narrow foot kind of guy, and so a lot of times, you know, when there's too much room is when I really don't like a sneaker. But this has, um, it's pretty snug. It's not too much room in it, and, and it feels pretty nice for my first dunk high. In terms of comfort, I would give these a um, probably average score of like 7 out of 10 or something like that. I'm not going to blow your socks off, nothing crazy right now. And, and as of, you know, wearing it for the first time, I wasn't blown away by the comfort of them. But man, do these look good. <laughs> so there are a couple things I want to talk to you guys about um, a little bit beyond just the review of the Notre Dunk Highs. Um, so like I said, these are actually my first pair of dunks. And um, the reason why I wanted to kind of dabble in dunks besides the entire dunk craze um, I, I don't really like to buy into you know fads or trends or things like that. I really want to know why something or why a product is as good as it is. And I had I didn't really have particular history with the Dunk High, and I just did a little bit of research on it. And Nike has a whole series actually on it about, about SB Dunks and just different Dunks. Um, but the origin actually comes from College Hoops, which is when I heard that, and I I just I just didn't put two and two together. But all the you know the collegiate colorways with the dunk high are associated with a specific school and they all come from an era in time in which you know you could call it one of you know at basketball's best eras in terms of footwear in terms of athletes and in terms of stars and so this actual shoe the dunk high is a derivative of the jordan one and i can't remember the other shoe at the time but during the 80s and uh, they were just a, a very popular and a very stylish basketball shoe. And then kids were wearing them to be like the college players that you know, they saw in the NCAA tournaments and whatnot. And so I think that's such a dope concept. And, and the history and the lineage goes way beyond that. But when I heard those things, that's what kind of like got me interested in dunk highs in particular, because I'm not a skateboarder. I've tried skateboarding and I've done things like that. But at my core, I'm a hooper, you know what I'm saying? So the dunk high kind of speaks to me as a basketball player, as a basketball lover, and as a basketball fan. And um, man, it's, it's a beautiful shoe. And, and the Notre Dunks in particular, man, 
I actually went to school in Wisconsin for two years. And so I know about that Midwest mentality, that workman mentality that, uh, you know, kind of you got to grind no matter if it's, you know, 20 degrees below, if when it gets cold like it is right now, you got to keep working, man. And so um, that's why Notre kind of stood out to me and their campaign video. Man, I, I hopefully hopefully one day we'll make it out to Notre in Chicago. I got family in Chicago, so if you're from the Midwest area, shout out to you, man. Um, and I appreciate you guys for you know all the subscribers, all the love we've been getting recently. Um, that's pretty much all I have for the review of this shoe. Um, you know, if you want to see this shoe in a more more realistic light, if you want to see it. You know, showcased on my on my Instagram, then you can give me a follow at Drew Joiner underscore. I would truly appreciate it. Um, that's pretty much all I have for the review, man. Let's get on to either the outro or the rest of the video. I don't know how much format this vlog, man, but um, I can't wait to I can't wait to rock these, man. I'm I'm super excited about these. Let me know what you guys think about these down in the comment section. Did you guys like these or you like the other colorway, the blue colorway more? I would love to know. But all right, y'all. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Our I don't know if this is the end of the video. I'm just gonna cut it. Yo, what is happening? It is Tuesday, man, which means it's Taco Tuesday! All right, it's way too cold outside for this. Back to the car. Man, shout out to the dude Noel Sigua, man. Look what he said about so, me. So I just rewatched, or not rewatched. Um, <clears throat> I re-listened to a little bit of the podcast, and honestly, it was such an amazing time. Um, Drew Joyner, shout out to that man. Um, great host for a podcast, great overall. Um, really knows how to um, run a podcast and, and just have great conversation. And, you know, he did his research on me, and it shows. Like, he really took the time to um, have questions that would really um, pertain to me. So, I appreciate that. Um and if you guys really ever want to know about my upbringing, you know, why I started posting on social media and why I'm so, like, fashion inclined and even why I started Absolute, go and listen. It's on Spotify. It's on um, music. It's on a bunch of different platforms. Go check it out. Man, that is so love, bro. Like, I just can't believe it. Like, some days I had to pinch myself, guys, because I, I think that just, like, two years ago, I was I was not even in a position to even think about the things I'm doing right now when it comes to Edward Joyner, when it comes to the podcast. So, Noel, man, shout out to you. If you ever see this, thank you. And uh, I've already said thank you to like a million times. But um, if you haven't checked out the podcast, check it out, man. But that's, that's a cool dude right there. That's a real cool dude. All right, just got back home. We just we have a new sale that we need to pack up and, and get all the things done for. And uh, actually, the person kind of DM me and asked me if we can get it out and ship it out before Valentine's Day. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get to it. We done. Time to go drop it off. <laughs> I can't do it. Say what you just said. All I want to do is cuddle with my boyfriend and after work for him instead. Welcome to my life! <laughs> Today is Mardi Gras, man, so we're gonna go get some beignets. Lauren and I are gonna get some beignets. 
explore a little bit of DTD, man. Have a good little day. Get some more drone footage. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the vlog. This is probably uh, the last day of vlogging. So hopefully you guys enjoy it, man. So Lauren, where are we going? What is this plant shop again? It's a plant shop and it has dead animals in it. <laughs> I mean, it actually does though. You'll see what I mean when we get there. Yeah, we've never been to this side of town. Look at these, uh... The mural. from like roadkill or just natural deaths and they like give them another life by repurposing their bodies and making them part of decoration or whatever no yeah, yeah yeah exactly no that's pretty cool it's pretty yeah. cool um but there's a lot of like succulents and stuff which are pretty popular right now obviously I'm in Colorado. I'm a sucker for <laughs> yeah lauren's a sucker for succulents so so right now we're walking on Regis University's campus in Denver. Well, I guess a little bit outside of Denver because we've never really been here. And actually one of my best friends is a graduate student here, but I don't think they have classes on campus. We're just kind of doing some light exploring and uh, yeah. Also, I want to change up the aesthetic of my my channel, this generic look. I'm not digging it. We need to change it. All right, I changed it up completely from where I started. It made it much more simplistic. Just put a purple line through a typeface. I think this is more kind of what I was going for. I don't know what I was doing with the shapes before. This is a lot more simple, a lot just cleaner. And uh, yeah, so this is going to be the new drew drew joiner youtube channel um profile profile picture gosh i don't know why i couldn't think of the name for it <laughs> so this is the final result little drew 
with a purple line. I'm gonna keep, I'm actually gonna keep that the same as the watermark down there. And then this is what it looks like on the computer screen. I think it looks pretty clean. I, I just want it to be really clean. So I think that looks really clean. So Lauren's writing a little bit, a little book, a children's book. So we always come to this bookstore to check it out, see what they have in one day. If I can get my book in here, I'd she be very her, happy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if she can get her book in here, I'm going to be very happy. <laughs> that would be incredible. Yo, shout out to my man Wingstop Poppy for getting his... Uh, <laughs> his his master's degree his caption says his caption says they said i wouldn't get a master's degree and i took it personally and then it's the freaking michael <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> this dude funny i know i need to meet this guy in real life wingstop poppy i need to meet you bro